Hi boys and girls, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to read to you another story that we sent home with you. If you give a moose a muffin. Written by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. Laura wrote the story and Felicia drew the pictures. Now, if you have ever read one of these stories, you might have, you might be familiar with how a lot of the characters get distracted and they kind of run off to do different things. And in the end, well, you'll see. If you give a moose a muffin, if you want to read this with me, go get your book and come back and we can read it together. If you give a moose a muffin. I love how the illustrator drew the smell waves and lines to show you that they smell something really yummy and it's coming out of the house. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, He'll ask to borrow a sweater. Wait a minute. Do you think that this moose is going to fit in a sweater that fits a human? Hmm. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. Looks like it would be a little short anyway. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. That's the background. Or the setting. Where it takes place. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. Oh my goodness, look at that house. I see mom in the window. What would your mom or dad or anyone that lives with you, that's the adult that takes care of you, what would they say if they came home and found a moose in your house, making a huge mess.
I know that my mom wouldn't be very happy. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Hey, didn't we hear that word blackberry before in this book? Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. If you give a moose a muffin. That was a pretty silly story. I like how it started in the beginning, giving a moose a muffin, and at the end, it ended with the character giving him a muffin again. It went in a circle. Pretty cool. If you ever had a muffin before, give a silent me too. I love muffins. I love this story. I love all of you. I miss you very much. I hope you're doing well. See you later.